G4S has suspended nine members of staff from an immigration removal centre near Gatwick Airport, following a BBC Panorama undercover investigation. The programme says it has covered footage recorded at Brook House showing officers mocking, abusing and assaulting people being held there. It says it has seen widespread self-harm and attempted suicides in the centre, and that drug use is rife. G4S said it is aware of the claims and immediately began an investigation. The security firm said it had not been provided with recorded evidence, but added, there is no place for the type of conduct described. The program, to be aired on Monday, uses footage it says was recorded by a custody officer at the centre, which holds detainees facing deportation from the UK. Panorama says it has seen chaos, incompetence and abuse at the centre, which it describes as a toxic mix. It claims detainees who are failed asylum seekers can share rooms with foreign national criminals who have finished prison sentences. G4S said the staff suspensions were a precaution but it has reported the allegations to the relevant authorities. Such behavior is not representative of the many G4S colleagues who do a great job, often in difficult and challenging circumstances. Jerry Petherick Managing Director for G4S Custodial and Detention Services in the UK, said in a statement. Once we have seen the evidence and concluded the investigation, I will ensure that we take the appropriate action, Mr. Petherick later told the BBC his company continually look at vetting and training and the initial training course is eight weeks, with ongoing developmental training after. We continue to focus on the care and well-being of detainees at Brook House, he said. Brook House is currently home to 508 men, mainly from Pakistan, Albania, Nigeria, Afghanistan, and India. According to the Home Office, the majority of those held are failed asylum seekers or illegal immigrants waiting to be deported from the UK on organized charter flights. Other detainees include foreign national offenders awaiting transfers and those who are considered too challenging to manage in less secure centers. Brook House is one of 11 detention removal centers in England, which together took in 28,908 people last year, including 71 children. During the year, 28,661 people left detention, of which 64% were held for less than 29 days, 18% for between 29 days and 2 months, and 11% for between 2 and 4 months. Of the 1,848, 6%, remaining, 179 had been in detention for between 1 and 2 years, and 29 for 2 years or longer. In response to the Panorama investigation, a Home Office spokesman said, We condemn any actions that put the safety or dignity of immigration removal center detainees at risk. We are clear that all detainees should be treated with dignity and respect and we expect G4S to carry out a thorough investigation into these allegations and that all appropriate action be taken. Brookhouse is operated privately by G4S on behalf of the Home Office. The firm works in a number of sectors, including technology, care and justice services, and cash transportation, and has 585,000 employees across 100 countries worldwide. However, G4S has also attracted controversies and accusations of mismanagement. In 2014, it paid £109 million for overcharging the Ministry of Justice for tagging offenders while it also received heavy criticism for its handling of security at the London Olympics, in 2012. Last year, criminal proceedings were launched against eight G4S staff at the Medway Secure Training Centre, a prison for young people, following another Panorama investigation. Brookhouse was opened in 2009 but a year later was branded fundamentally unsafe. A further report in 2012 found there were still significant concerns, but in 2013 inspectors saw sustained improvement. The most recent report from him Chief Inspector of Prisons, released in March this year, said some detainees had been held for excessive periods due to unreasonable delays in immigration decision-making. 
The report also described the residential units as very closely resembling the conditions found in prisons, saying problems were exacerbated by poor ventilation and unsatisfactory sanitary facilities. A follow-up review into immigration detention had already been commissioned by the Home Office before the Panorama investigation, and it will include a visit to Brook House. Former prisons ombudsman Stephen Shaw carried out an inquiry into detention in the UK in 2015 and his report made 64 recommendations, including that fewer people should be held in immigration centres. The review into progress made since will take about six months and will begin on Monday. Watch Panorama, Undercover, Britain's Immigration Secrets. On Monday, the 4th of September at 2100 hours BST on BBC One and afterwards on BBC iPlayer.